All right, folks, I'm here today with Bobby Landgraf, guitarist of Honky and Down. Uh, it's good to see you again, man. You too, brother. How are you today? I'm good. Right on. Uh, I guess first I want to talk about the upcoming uh, Mike Scotia Rock the Heart benefit that Down is headlining on the mm -hmm. 24th. Mm -hmm. uh, could you tell us a little bit about it and how the band got involved? It is an awesome event. It's uh, something that came about, uh, Down already had a show booked for Emos. And uh, the Scotia Benefit was set up in Fort Worth, and they wanted Down to play that one. And we wanted to, of course, anything we can for Scotia and, and, and all that. And so what happened was, we just brought them into our show at Emo's. So now, Scotia with Down headlining, Scotia Tribute, uh, Rock the Heart, we've got Riga Mortis Jam, and we're going to have War Beast Jam. And a lot of other surprises that I don't even know yet, so it's killer. Good day. All right. Uh, heart health has been a bit of an epidemic in this country. Uh, I recently read a study that says that listening to music and performing music uh, can actually uh, increase health benefits all across the spectrum. Yes, it can. I'm sure it can. I mean, listen to something like Shining Star, Earth, Wind, and Fire. I mean, every time I hear that, my heart feels better, you know. Uh, but yeah, music makes you sad, makes you happy, makes you angry, but it's got to be good for the heart somewhere in there. Uh, do you think that's what makes uh, the Heart Rock Foundation so special, kind of a music meets medicine thing? I sure do. Uh, anything like this is special, and it's just extra special to create awareness after something like that happened to Mike Scotia. And uh, so, yeah, absolutely. All right, so he passed away a little over two years ago. Uh, what was your first reaction to that news? Just horrified. Horrified about the whole, the whole, the whole thing. Uh, it's a two-edged sword, man. It's like, do you want to go that way? Is that the way you want to go while you're playing? I mean, maybe. I don't know. I don't think so. Or do you want to go quietly? Mike went while he was playing. He went in front of his people. Uh, it was horrifying for everyone involved, but damn. Yeah, I, it's, it's, like I say, double, two ways to go on that one, man. Right. Uh, how would you describe his contributions and impact to the world of guitarists? Scotch has influenced me and tons of other cats. Uh, his right hand, his flutter, his, his no one can really touch it like he had it. I mean, everything he did for rigor mortis, ministry, I mean, every, I mean, he's, everything he touched was awesome because he shined through it, the whole thing. You, you could always tell it's him. Always tell. All right, so lighter note, you guys recently went to Australia. How yes, was that experience? we did. It was killer. We played with the greatest bands. We played Eagles. We, we, there was a big festival, so there was a hundred bands. But the thing about that was, you, you get to hang out with all your boys, and that was the best best part of it. And for me, my first tour went down, so I wasn't on stage with the crew all day, which I'm used to. But this time, I'm out and I'm doing the rock, playing my ass off, doing everything I can. Cool deal. Uh, I've seen you play with Honky on numerous occasions, and it's always a great time. I haven't had a chance to see you down yet. Uh, so what could one expect from a down show? Well, what could you expect from a down show? Because you haven't been to one. Haven't been and to one. And you can't wait because it's, it's awesome energy. It's, it's killer. Uh, Philip will take you right into his, his hand and he'll holler at you and throw you back out to the audience. And uh, we as a band, are, uh, are, I think, which is absolutely awesome and tight. I've been... Uh, outside spectator for so long watching down that I've always wanted to be a part of the band and now I get to be and so what to expect is just man smiles frowns growls everything man it's just it hits you in the head like a hammer awesome can't wait uh, does the music flow pretty easily between you and Pepper be it writing material new Dude, material? me and Pepper we hang together I've known Pepper the longest so we've been friends the longest out of all these guys and so, man, we walk, talk, bullshit, drink, it just everything we do has been so smooth and easy. And then to walk into a, a room with him with my guitar and to play with him, the, the communication is brilliant. It's awesome. It's, it's almost unspoken. He'll throw something at me, I'll throw something back, and they all just, just work just beautifully. Nice. We speak the same language, and we're in each other's head now that we've been working together. So I can't wait for the next record. Nice. All right. Uh, what else do you guys have coming up in the near future? We're going out with Black Label Society in May, and that'll be the, the month of May, mostly East Coast. And then after that, the next thing on the books is Europe in August. So a bunch of festivals, and uh, yeah, about the first, uh, first half of the month of August. Awesome. 
Yeah. All right, well, that's all the time we've got today. Uh, if you're around the Austin area, come out to the Mike's Got You Benefit. Come on, August 24th. Don't miss it. Uh, I mean May 24th. May 24th. You would have missed it if I didn't say May. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll see you on the road, man. Thanks, and, Jody. Uh, Thanks for your time, brother. Yes, Hell yeah, awesome. My man.